Hey there boys and girls, yes I am back. What is this, two videos in the space of less than a week when I haven't been around for months on end? I know. This one, it's another shout out, Steve Hughes. Um, Steve Hughes asks the question, am I moving or am I joking? Did I start my video with knock knock? Nope, not joking mate. I'm off and I'm going to tell you why. Here's the biggest reason why. I'm just totally sick of England, mate. I'm totally sick of the UK. Um, I, I would use the word I'm sick of the politics, but there is no politics. It's a schoolyard of bickering children running this bloody country. Boris said this, Corbyn said that, so-and-so said, Wee, I want my mummy. And all it's doing is screwing over you. It's screwing over me. It's screwing over everybody who just wants to get on and make a living. Um, I voted for Brexit, I did, and I voted for it not based upon the, oh well we can't get this deal we want so we're going to have to get that deal and oh well those poor people that voted to leave are so uneducated they didn't know what they were doing, yeah sod off pal, um, I voted to leave purely and simply because the system just doesn't work, it doesn't work, yeah that's all there is to it, um, and the European Union doesn't work, if it did why would Norway have left, um, it, they, I basically believe that they're quite a bit smarter than us to be frank um, but why would they have left if the system actually works it just doesn't so anyhow moving forward yes I voted for Brexit it was supposed to be two years and we're out and it wasn't two years and we're out if we've got a deal or two years and we're out if we don't have a deal or two years and we're out if so and so runs the country it was just two years and out three years down the road we're still not out so my democratic um say my, my voice my vote it doesn't matter it doesn't care nobody gives a stuff what i say um it's of no relevance it's not respected by the so-called powers that be all you hear from the remoners as they have been uh, labeled by many people on the radio etc is wow we're never going to let this happen and i'm so sick of pandering to people that will just sit there and cry and cry and cry and have a tantrum like a spoiled little and brat until they get their own way yeah i know that this is supposed to be a family friendly channel which is why i'm curbing the uh the long weege. um so i'm that sick of it that i literally woke up uh just a, a few months back and i'm like well hang on we, we've got family overseas um we're lucky enough to have uh, a place to live overseas um you know we're lucky enough to have um these days uh, a few little business investments etc that mean that we can really live and work wherever we want to um so why the hell are we here and this is somewhat related to my last video about depression all of this nonsense day in day out um why why should you, why should you, people there, there's the lens, why should you be paying taxes to a government that doesn't respect your wish? Um, that doesn't respect not just your wish, because then people could say, oh, well, I didn't want that, and don't work like that. But that, that don't respect the democratic wish, the, 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 the vote. Um, uh, I was talking with a, a friend of mine who dog sits for us um, earlier today and she voted to remain and she sits there and says, well, 51% of the people were like, hold on a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. Everybody was lied to. That's called politics, love. You know, yeah, I know full well there ain't going to be an extra 300 and something million for the NHS, regardless of what Boris the Johnson says. Um, I know full well it's not going to be a bed of roses, etc. for a little while. I know full well it's going to sting for a bit. But it's like, it's like a cancer, you, you know, you, the European Union is a cancer and you've got to have that biopsy and if we get it done now, it's going to sting for a while, but a couple of years down the road, it's going to be, oh, we're all well and good, the cancer's done with, happy days, and that's the way that I look at it. So am I joking, Steve Hughes? Hell no, mate, you can keep this um, country. Um, you can keep it, mate. It, it's all yours. Yep, Green Pro will still be here. Um, the, the, the Green Pro window cleaning operation will continue. Um, but luckily, the lads are all clued up enough that they can run their own operations. That was the design from the start. Um, I hadn't planned on getting out, but uh, but as I say, it's uh, it really is. It, once again, it's a mental health issue. 
I just can't be doing with all the all the bickering and all the nonsense and on the news again another mosque has been attacked and and graffitied by the EDL or another church has been set on fire by radical Islamists etc why can't we all just sit down and crack a beer mate you know what I mean I don't care where you're from I don't care what language you speak I don't care what color you are many of you know my wife is Asian uh, I'm no racist uh, I, I'm I'm not a racist because I voted to leave Europe I'm somebody who believes that the system just doesn't work which is why I voted to leave Europe that's all um but I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough of this country dragging you down, kicking you down. Here's one for you. I'll leave you with this little tidbit, Steve. Here, here's the joke in all of this. I live in a free bed detached home here in sunny Bolsover district. Um, a while back, somebody told me Bolsover district is the poorest council district in the country. I don't know if that's accurately fact because I haven't looked it up. Uh, but that's just what I was told by somebody. And... In this tree bed house in which I live, it's valued at 185,000. It's not mine, it, but it's, it's a rental. It's not mine, but we all know that council tax is done upon property banding and property values. And this is valued at 185,000. Um, only me and the wife. So that's all the resources of the council that we use. And my council tax is 1,440 pounds per year. You heard me correctly, 1,000 440 pounds per year now my friend whom you hear me mention because i've only got the one who lives down in london lives in a three-quarter million pound garden victorian flat in london uh that's right seven hundred and fifty thousand pound for a one-bedroom shoebox um, typical london pricing there's only him and his wife they don't have kids either i mean i do but my kids are grown and moved so you know i'm, I'm not using the resources there um, and that's where they live down in London in the um, sunny borough of Balham I'm not sure if that's a or is it it's not it's not a borough but they live in Balham so I don't know which borough that is and their council tax wait for it because oh yeah we all know that living down south the north south divide everything's more expensive down south innit hold on their council tax £640 a year 800 quid less than mine Eight hundred pound a year less than me who lives in one of the poorest council districts in the country excuse that bit of spittle there shows how um agitated i might be by the situation but anyway um so yeah think about that think about that why the hell am i up here in a deprived area of the midlands paying 800 pound a year more in council tax and getting less bloody service from the council for my mate down in sunny old london one has to ask the question before you get into looking into your council tax and going, hold on a minute, why the hell did we march against the poll tax only to allow Maggie to slip the council tax in underneath the carpet there? For those of you old enough to remember those protests, um, take a look on Google at where is the cheapest council taxing in the country? Which county, which borough, which borough is the word maybe? I'm thinking council borough has the lowest council tax in the country. Oh, Westminster. Bum, bum, bum. It's an invisible keyboard just there for special effects, sound effects. You'll just have to, you know, use your imagination there. But, uh, yeah, Westminster. Kel, surprise, uh, as they say. Um, oh, my goodness. Isn't this where all the MPs, etc., keep their other homes that we're paying for out of their MPs' expenses that is taxpayers' money? But hold on. They get lower council tax rates kind of handy because it's us that's actually paying their in the way of other taxes anyway they don't actually pay for anything they don't actually do a bloody job to start with if they did we'd already be out of being out of europe and i'd probably be sitting here going right then so i'm gonna go clean some windows and talking to you about window cleaning <laughs> instead of sounding like a raving irate lunatic that i am today um but that's what it's done to me anyway perhaps i should stay off these as I mentioned in my other video, not sponsored by Copperberg, they don't send me any cans. Also not sponsored by Red Bull, they don't send me any cans. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So there you have it. Stay off that crap, kids. It will do you in. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Steve, shout out to Steve Hughes. I was going to wear my other jumper as a shout out to Steve Garwood, but I forgot. So sorry, Steve. Um, other Steve, Steve Garwood, um, our ginger ninja. So anyway, guys, um, no, not a joke. By the end of next month, mate, this house will be packed up long gone and you'll know it's a whole total different backdrop to my videos in the future that involves blue skies palm trees and uh 
a much more copacetic way of life. So, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Thumbs up if you have. Thumbs down if you haven't. Makes no odds to me. It's all your opinion. We're entitled to it. Subscribe if you like what we do. And, of course, comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Ciao for now.